wife, Jill, who uh, puts up with my tweeting. She doesn't understand this tweet thing. She has a, please follow her if, if you would. Um, she, she, she doesn't quite get it yet, but she's really smart. Um, she's, a, she's a master gardener, and she's a teacher. And, uh, I'm going to go to Okay. Like, and we're going up there. We're going up to the radar dome. Yep, we're going up. What did they say? Like a million watts of power? It's like a microwave oven up there. This yeah. would be no awesome. Oh, children and this woman here. So. Oh, well, yeah. I, 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 found the, I found the how not to button on that too. Yeah. So we're all yeah. finished with that. Yeah, you found Dr. Snip Snip. Confined space. <laughs> <laughs> that is high. Do you have any famous last words for us? <laughs> no, no, just uh, like I said. Over here. <laughs> okay, what level are we on? This is level one? We're on level one here. There's Timmy coming up. Where's Yankee Stadium? I have been really good. So we're inside the Doppler radar dome. I'm going to go over here. And I guess the whole thing spins. That just moved. Who caused that? Inside the radar dome. The echo in here is pretty crazy too. It certainly is. Is is. <laughs> oh, say can you see? Kind of hard to describe what you're actually seeing in here because the thing is so huge. That, you know, you can't, you just can't get look from the fifth level of the National Weather Service radar dome. Is that a smaller radar dome, or is that for the airport? That's actually our upper air system. That's where you're going to launch the weather balloon from later. Ha uh ha -huh. ha! The balloon and its equipment. Ha uh ha! -huh. So there's Appleton down there someplace. Wimps, is that what we're getting? Is that is is that what we get? Wimp? show the weather balloon. That's it. We're all outside going to the weather balloon. <coughs> There's our tower that we climbed. That's just so cool. They're so cool. More apparatus and we're going over to launch a weather balloon, which is just gonna be so cool. The radio phone. There's the radio sun, it's the thing that's going to go up on the weather balloon. Harmless weather instrument. It says harmless on it, Green Bay, and it's got the date on it. And it's going to go up to 100,000 feet. That's, looks like he's blowing up the weather balloon here. And we do them twice a day. Once in the uh, early morning and, and once in the, uh, in the evening hours. And um, in case of severe weather, which we didn't have any this year. 
Uh, we do a, a special release for the uh, Storm Prediction Center. Let me get the, uh, the hype thing going here. I'm just going to discharge this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like turn on a little hype. Well, you can't video it and tweet check it at the same time. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. From Mexico, uh, overseas, uh, Japan, Korea, we all have a couple of sites. You guys all do it the same, same time. There's all the geeks in a row. Just a big, <laughs> big liner. You guys pop before they get up. You guys tell me you pop before they get out of here. Did you hear the building? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I think it's just blue. Yeah, you set up in the upper atmosphere, it gets that big. That's pretty darn cool. That's really strong. <laughs> it looks like he's getting ready to hook the parachute on. You can, you can hear it slowing down as it pulls up on the wave. Well, I have to change tanks here if you don't have a... Oh, is that the tank going? What's that? Is that the tank going? Yeah. Hey, there's the weather balloon all blown up, ready to ready to go. Exercise my brain, basically. Oh. Scott getting ready to launch it. Tommy and Claire have been coming here to be holders. Oh, you're the parachute holder. Okay, Tommy's the holder. Oh, we're going outside here. That's pretty cool. They'll be, talk, they'll be talking about this for a few hours. <laughs> Here we go. There's the. Hold on, Clara. I'm going to call the news organization. Here come the helicopters. This is a good pilot for a good story. Claire, is it, does it pull a lot on you? Yeah. <coughs> Come on back here, Tommy. Is there a specific length of string that you like to use? Uh, I mean, is that important or is that not? Yeah, it's kind of important because you don't want the movement of the balloon to affect how the radio sound ascends. So it has to be pretty long, kind of act like a shock absorber, uh -huh. if you will. So, yeah, this is like 80 feet is a, is a typical size for length. <laughs> Yay, Clara! There goes the weather balloon. There it goes. It doesn't go up like that very often. No, no, there's usually some sort of flat tire blowout. You want to see that? Can you see where they blow out? Right there. Right there's where it blew out. Right the side. Right there. Blow out the. Yeah, can I go to the bathroom? Oh, see it. Yeah, go in there. Sidewall. Let's go see how Clara's. In the store or outside? Oh, inside, inside the store. Ha. So what do you think? What do you think of the weather balloon? Good. Can I see the blowout? Yeah. She right there at nine o'clock, Clara. Right there at nine o'clock, you can see it. No, what happened? I can't see anything. Go down there and look. Get close. See it? Oh. You can stick your finger in it. Man. Yeah, not good.